What is the last digit or units digit of this massive number, 42 to the power of 42? As usual with this sort of question, we're going to answer it using some modular congruence and some exponent properties in order to break this thing down into some smaller pieces that are more manageable. First though, a quick application of the binomial theorem. 42 to the 42, of course, is equal to 40 plus 2 to the 42. We can expand this power of a binomial using the binomial theorem. This must be equal to this sum. And it's important to note in this sum that every term has a factor of 10, part of the 40. Every term has a power of 10 after the first term. With the first term, k is equal to 0. So in fact, there is no 40 because it's just 40 to the 0, which is 1. There's no factor of 10 there. But every other term after the first term will have a factor of 10, which means that it will have no impact on the units digit, because if it's a multiple of 10, its units digit must be 0. So, in fact, the only term that's going to impact the units digit is going to be the first term that doesn't have a factor of 10. That first term, when k equals 0, is just 2 to the 42. So only that first term, 2 to the 42, is going to affect the units digit of 42 to the 42. All right, so that's great. We've already broken the problem down to 2 to the 42 instead of 42 to the 42. That's a whole lot more manageable. Now let's break this down into some smaller powers. 2 to the 42 is equal to 2 to the 40 plus 2. 2 to the 2 is just 4, so we can pull that out. And that just leaves behind 2 to the 40 which is the same as 2 to the 4 to the 10. This is useful because 2 to the 4 is 16, and 16 has the same units digit no matter what positive integer power you raise it to. This should feel correct intuitively because, of course, when you raise 16 to a power, what affects the units digit is this 6, which is in the ones place. 6 and then 6 squared is 36. You can see how subsequent powers are always going to end in 6. Same thing with 16. And we can do a quick induction proof that that is indeed how it works. So we're proving this, that 16 to the n, for any positive integer n, is congruent to 6 mod 10, which means the last digit of 16 to the n is always 6. We can prove this quickly by beginning with the basis step, 16 to the 1, obviously 16, which is congruent to 6 mod 10. 6 is the unit's digit. Then, if we assume that 16 to the k is congruent to 6 mod 10, we can multiply both sides of this equivalence by 16. On the left, we get 16 to the k plus 1, and on the right, 16 times 6 is 96. So 16 to the k plus 1 is congruent to 96 mod 10. Obviously, 96 mod 10, though, is congruent to 6 mod 10. And so we have that 16 to the k plus 1 is congruent to 6 mod 10. That completes the induction step. And thus, 16 to a positive integer power will always be congruent to 6 mod 10. So its units digit will always be 6. So remember, the only thing affecting the units digit of 42 to the 42 is 2 to the 42. But 2 to the 42 is equal to 4 times 16 to the 10. But 16 to the 10 guaranteed has a units digit of 6. And so we have then the answer to our problem. 4 times 16 to the 10 is congruent to 4 times 6 mod 10 because 16 to the 10 is congruent to 6 mod 10. And 4 times 6 mod 10 is congruent to 4. Thus, the last digit of 42 to the 42 must be 4 because 2 to the 42 is what impacts the units digit. And we see that 2 to the 42 has a units digit of 4. Cool little problem. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And if you want some more interesting math problems, check out my playlist in the description. And please consider joining Wrath of Math as a channel member if you want to help support what I do and get early and exclusive access to certain videos and original songs and other cool stuff. 
Thanks for watching. Uh, uh, I'm the mathematical menace, the machinations of mankind. Two calculators at the same time, hand signs and abacus, finger count and calculus. I'm the V to the T, my parameter, the rapidest. Happens like this, my lectures, the most prominent, dominant. Call me the Morgan, I get the compliments. The union in together like any time that we intersect.